Mmm, bro, I tell you, man. Jesus Christ in heaven, bruh. I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, but have you ever recorded a 20 plus minute video and you lose every second of it? Mmm, my God, it makes me want to just freaking just. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so today is supposed to be. WWE Action Figure Surgery Episode 35, correct? I think it's 35, 36, whatever the hell it is. So I get the surgery, I freaking record it all in one segment. I did it all in one segment, that's how I usually do it. I continuously record and then just chop it up in the footage. Big mistake, Brad, that's why you don't put all your freaking eggs in one basket. You should record it in separate entities so you don't lose everything at once. And that is what happened here today on this episode. So I am just, I, I apologize so much, guys. For some reason, I even lost the, I freaking lost the thumbnail, too. So I'm going to have to redo the thumbnail. I don't know how it does that. I know that for some reason when you switch cameras, like I do one one camera I use to take the thumbnail, and then the other one I use for video. And I guess when you switch them over, if you, if you take that SD card out, or if you, like, don't turn off the camera completely, like, sometimes I do it too fast. I haven't done it in a while. This is actually the first time in a long time that I've done it. It's been like a year and a half since I've done it because it pisses me off to no freaking end. God, I want to strangle you, Mojo. So I've been really good about not doing that, but for some reason it happened this morning and I, I freaking lost it all. So I guess we're not going to be performing the surgery, but I will be taking you through exactly what happened through the surgery video. Pretty freaking good highlights in there, man, that, that we missed out on. Who knows what kind of bloopers and bullcrap. You guys know I ramble and say some stupid stuff. Get you a couple laughs in there. Well, maybe you'll get a couple laughs out of me freaking upset, man. All right, so what I was saying is if you take the SD card out or you don't cut the camera off all the, all the way before you take the SD card out and things of that nature and you switch it over, you can lose footage, man. It's a thing that happens. And so I guess that's what took place here today. So I guess I'm just gonna redo the thumbnail with the figures already completed and just so just... <laughs> Alright, well I mean there's nothing we can do about it now. We can't cry over sour spilt frickin' Throw a little of milk, man. Let's just go ahead and dive into what we did today on Action Figure Surgery. I will take you through the process, show you exactly what figures we switched, tell you exactly what happened with everything, and just break it all down so you guys can at least say, I guess well, this will be the ending segment that we that we usually do on Action Figure Surgery, and I guess the, the beginning segment and the first segment all wrapped up into one. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. This is nothing. I mean, this is just some trash Top Talents 2019 AJ Styles. All we did was take the head scan off of it. We we didn't do anything else with it, so uh, all he's got is a little short neck. I'm not going to leave it like this. It's just I didn't want this AJ Styles to be headless, you know? <laughs> Almost vomited. So there's, th th there's this piece of trash. This is what my face looks like right now. <laughs> Next up, guys, we have another one that's not very exciting, but I did want to get the, you know, the most least exciting out of the way first. We have this Elite 66 AJ that I'm going to pick up another one, but all we did was switch the knee pads and the kick pads for another figure that you guys will see, or a couple different figures, and this head sculpt was already switched on some other action figure surgery or some other custom, so I am going to get another Elite 66 because I like that figure a lot, you know, when it's complete, so I'll probably pick that up at another date. I think it goes for like 14 bucks on Amazon. I may order that right now. Moving on to our next figure, guys. This one's pretty sweet. I actually am a fan of this one. This is the Top Talents AJ Styles. And what we did with this one is switch the kick pads. With, uh, okay, this is actually funny. I glanced over to my right. Look at this. That's the AJ Styles that I just threw. That's good stuff, man. That's pretty good stuff. That's crazy, but that's that's hilarious. That's what you get, ho. So coming back to what we were looking at, guys, uh, this is what I was talking about. You probably think, oh, Brad, that's just a regular Top Talents AJ Styles figure. Well, Brad, if you'll go down here to the kick pads, you will see that we plopped the Elite 66 kick pads on there, and I think it turned out pretty swell, man. I mean, the blues, I think if you put the blues directly beside each other, they're not identical. However, if you have them like this, like on camera, they look alike. On You know, the, I mean, this is more of like a tealish color. This is more of a light blue, but I mean, they're pretty similar. Like, they're, they're not exactly the same, but they're close enough to where you can't really tell on camera, and I like it. You got the silver on the outline that matches the silver on the tights. You got the teal color that matches the teal color. You got the black that matches the black, and you have the white that matches the white. So I thought that was a pretty sweet fix-up, and, you know, I want to expand the AJ Styles collection, and uh, what better way to do that than with some fix-ups and duplicates of certain figures. So I like this a lot, and it turned out great, so I'm, I'm excited for that one. Next up, guys, this is probably my favorite switch of the day, and I will say, I think it is. I think it's pretty much my favorite 
switch. I just think it's pretty unique. It looks pretty cool and stuff like that. So we have the Elite 51 AJ Styles, I think. You know, the one with the screaming head sculpt that, you know, is just terrible. Like, out of the packaging, it's not very good. But if you switch on the Top Talents 2019, this is the uh, green and black AJ Styles head sculpt because they, they made this a little bit smaller than the Elite 66, if I'm not mistaken. And you don't have to crack the torso and replace the neck peg, you know, like you had to do with the AJ uh, what was it, the Elite 47 and the Network Spotlight. If you wanted to switch that head sculpt onto the Elite 51 back in the day, you had to crack the torso and switch out the neck peg. That is no longer the case with this new head sculpt that we got going, so that's pretty nice. I did have to switch out the arms. I used to have these, like, Elite... Thir oh my god, I dropped it on the floor! Uh, it used to have these Elite 37 AJ Styles. AJ Styles, it's Seth Rollins, bro. It's Elite 37 Seth Rollins. So we have this, and this used to be on here, but I wanted the bigger, you know, AJ Styles mold that they typically use with AJ Styles figures. So I popped these on here, and then I replaced the arm or the hands with just black Elite 37 Seth Rollins hands so that he'd have the all black glove look. I do want to put on some, you know, gloves like this from the Top Talents or something like that. So I'll have the AJ logo and the wristband, but um, I don't have any extras right now, so I, I'm going to wait on that. And I'll probably paint that black so that it gives it the full look. But for now, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to criticize or crucify myself, at least not yet, for, you know, not having the gloves exactly accurate. But going down, dude, we do put the elbow pad on there, which looks pretty cool. Going down into the tights, it's the Elite 51 tights, and then we put on some open knee pads, which look great, and then this is where the money is made, guys. Tying into the silver slash gray that we got going on, we put on the kick pads that we got from this Top Talents AJ, and we put it onto the Elite 51, and that looks pretty bomb, bro. I freaking love that. That looks pretty excellent fire nasty particle salad, so I like that a lot. That's a pretty cool fix-up right there, pretty unique to it. I think I've seen somebody do this before. I think it's Gizmo that did this fix-up before, and it looks pretty good. I Shout out to that guy for that. Um, I'm pretty sure this is where I've seen that before, and it looks cool. I really do like this a lot, and it's 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 nice. You know, it's not silver, but the flat gray kind of ties in together, and it looks good. Especially, I think if you put a vest on here, it would look even better, so that's, that's freaking sweet. Next up, guys, we did take advantage of our new Elite Farts in a bag, not elite, Brad. It's basic 102. We took advantage of our basic 102 Seth Rollins figure that we got. You guys know that we talked about it yesterday. I did pop the head sculpt off and pop it onto my new elite. Uh, it's not new, bro. You're, you're speaking before you even get started. You're in a rush, bro. Just just calm. Just relax, man. Just go on, man. You, you're all good, bro. But I'm really stressed out. Just just calm, bro. It's, it's all good. It's all good. Everything's gonna be okay. Where were we? All right. Basic 102, Seth Rollins head sculpt on the Elite 64 body. I like it a lot. I did, uh, I had my other one, but I I'm, I have some secret plans for it, so I'm not gonna show you guys just yet. <laughs> so don't worry about that. We'll get that taken care of. You guys will see that probably next week sometime, possibly the week after or the week after the week after. Who knows when it'll be done, but you guys will see it when it's completed, man. But I think it looks good. Again, I like this head sculpt better than the smiling one. I don't know why. I just like it. I, I, I can't tell you. I just think it has more likeness. I think it's good. And there's some things I don't like about it, but I still like it better than the smile because it kind of looks like he's just chilling there instead of looking like a goofball the whole John Brown time. So there's that Seth Rollins. Moving forward, guys, we do have the Network Spotlight Psych. It's the Fan Central Mojo Raleigh figure. And all we did was switch the boots out for black boots instead of the lime green boots. You will notice that it has the Triple H logo. And that's because we switched them out with the uh, DX Walgreens exclusive Triple H figure. And this is why. I don't I don't know why I thought of this fix up. It's really stupid and it's not accurate at all, but it's kind of cool. I have this custom head sculpt. If you guys are wondering, this is custom made. I got it made by Showstopper Custom Figs. I'm a big Triple H guy, so I wanted a couple head sculpts from him, so I got this made with a handlebar mustache. Still don't know why we don't have a handlebar mustache Triple H head sculpt, but who am I to judge? So we have the DX logo, which is lime green, that ties into the lime green boots with the black with the black strings in the boots, and then we have the black outsoles that looks pretty sweet, dude. I, I like it. You know, again, it's not accurate by any means, but it's a different look, and I think the black boots on Mojo Rawley kind of make it look better slash just more accurate. It just, it, I, This just looks more Mojo Rawley to me. I'll probably switch them out for plain black boots, but for now, I just did a regular boot swap, and I like this a lot. I think it's pretty cool. Again, not accurate, but it is cool. I'll probably get another DX Triple H and do this 
fix up because I, I don't want this for my, you know, DX Triple H. I want it to be accurate for, for the shelf. However, I do want to get another one just to do this for no reason. I, again, I like it. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys. Do you like the green boots or the black boots for the Triple H? Again, accuracy, I know I'm an accuracy guy, but for the fix up and the figure, it's pretty cool. So there's those two. And the last fix up that we have is this cane. And you guys saw this, I think, on the last episode of Action Figure Surgery. We tried to pop this Jax R3 head sculpt on here, and I said that I'm going to have to modify it. And modify it, I did. So I modified it, and it sits a lot lower. Shout out to Beast Nation for making that possible. I did have to Dremel in there, get it modified, and it does look good. The Brock Lesnar arms make this figure look like a freaking boss. If you guys remember, the last time we saw this head sculpt, there was not a completed stripe down the center of the face. So I did come in with my white paint. Pi uh, paint, not pint, you stupid piece of shit. Painted in the extra stripe. Went over in red, and the red actually matches perfectly on accident. So that's pretty cool. Touched up the reddish brown beard underneath here. Of course, gave him the Brock Lesnar arms that we talked about last time. And then I tried to switch the boots with these boots because he actually wore these boots in 2001. Very, very similar boots to this. These are off the Elite 50 Berserker, I think, or the B Diecat Warlord, maybe. And and uh, they did not fit. I think it's. I think I have to like dremel out this hole a little bit, and they may fit, but they did not sit flush. And I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. If anybody knows how to make these boots sit flush on this figure, let me know down in the comment section below. But they did not fit exactly, and I like these boots better. They're more accurate, and I just I'm not big on these tall boots like this. I just like these are the ones he wore. I know he wore them for a little bit of time, and the the way I'm thinking of him, I kind of I know he wore these in the Royal Rumble from 2001, so that's kind of the look I want. And I think it'll look cooler and better. I just like these boots better. They just fit Kane better. What do you think? I, I think they do. They have the straps on the side. They just look more Kane-like, man. So I want to put those on the figure. They didn't fit right now, so I'll have to fix that. You know, figure that out. But this Kane, you know, he's he's went through some processes, man. Trying to get him right. Trying to get him exactly what I want him to look like. And so that's what we're gonna try to do on a for maybe like in a future video or something like that. I don't know. I don't like doing modifications like boots and head sculpts and dremeling out stuff on camera because it's actually really difficult to video record and if anybody has a better idea of how to video record stuff like that well then please let me know down in the comment section below but that pretty much does it for all our fix ups guys we have the cane we have the dx triple h slash farts in a bag green boots triple h we have our mojo raleigh with black boots that's not you know whatever it's it's mojo football raleigh we have the basic 102 seth rollins elite 64 fix up that looks much better in my personal opinion i don't know what you guys think i know a lot of you did like the smiling head sculpt but now that we have it on this elite 64 what do you guys think now we have the excellent top talent slash elite 51 aj styles fix up there that looks fantastical and then we have the other fix up that uh, is probably the last one that anybody cares about in this video because the other two are trash like the no neck aj right here that looks like a just idiot and then we have this guy over here that's still there and it's hilarious and it'll always be hilarious right there but I think that's going to do it for WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number whatever the hell it is. Again, I apologize so much for losing that footage, man. I mean, it sucks, but at least you guys got to see the cool fix-ups. I told you exactly how you can do it. I broke down all the processes, I'm pretty sure. Now I'm kind of scared that I forgot to do that, but I'm pretty sure I told you every part that you need. Jax R3, Kane head sculpt, Brock Lesnar arms, Warlord boots, Mojo Raleigh boots, Triple H boots, basic 102 Seth Rollins head scan on Elite 64 body, Top Talents 2019 AJ Styles head, Top Talents 2018. 18 kick pads, open knee pads, Elite 66 kick pads. That's it. Oh, man. <laughs> Jesus, man. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you missed the update on the Hell's Gate MDT pick fed stage yesterday, definitely go check out that video. I'm still working on the stage, and I actually have a new improvement that I actually kind of want to show right now. Oh, my God, I almost knocked it over. Let me go ahead and grab it real quick. I want you guys to see this. So what we did is I went ahead and put this. I mounted this on the gate. So this is part of this is one of the gates. Both gates have this big, uh, big open thing on it. I just glued this thinner piece of card or a, a poster board to this thicker piece of foam and that's what we're going to go with then i'm going to mount other things to it try, just trying to give it some dimension and things like that but if you guys missed yesterday's video go check that out i'm still working on this today and that is going to do for today's video guys thank you so much for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you